is a trigger warning. Uh, this poem does include some contents of rape, sexual assault, and drug abuse. So if you are triggered by any of those, please do not watch this video. Now, what does one do if someone gets triggered by your trigger warning because you mentioned rape? I better shut up. They'll end up putting trigger warnings for trigger warnings next. Now where did I put that intro? Ah, here we go. Because I was born in a female's body. Yeah. Yeah, just, just playing that card from the get-go, huh? Okay, now all I have to do is try to resist the urge to respond in poetic form myself. Okay, we got this. Here we go. My birth is awesome by the amount of men I lived in my life. Okay, firstly, you don't look like you're from one of those cultures that obsess about vaginal purity. But, and this applies to both men and women. When someone's seeking out a potential partner, they would prefer it if that individual would have had less sexual partners. Disregarding all other possible reasons, that person has a higher chance of having a sexually transmitted disease, which is bad. The words they call us might as well be a knife. <laughs> yes, because mean words are the same thing as physical assault. I mean, they're practically indistinguishable. If I have sex, I'm a slut whore. Because my clothes tell you that I'm asking for more. Why don't you ask around? See if people care that you've been poked in the twat. You'll soon find that people don't give a shit. They don't even give it a second thought. Because I was born in a female body. When a female has sex with many men, she's a shame. When a male has sex with many women, he just has game. You're full of shit. You're double standard. It's just not true. Though I suspect you'll keep on perpetuating it till your face turns blue. And damn it, I'm responding in poem. As if when you enter my body, you take some of my worth for yourself, like I'm some stupid trophy on your shelf. Something tells me you slept with someone and now you feel regret. But then you thought, aha, patriarchy. That's your scenario, I'd bet. I'm dirty because he never loved me. He loved my body, but I'm not just what you see. See, what did I tell you? I knew I was right. And now here she is, picking up the feminist fight. But I can't say no. It's just not how it goes. Depending on what I wear and how tight my clothes fit, I'm telling them that I want it. Okay, now I'm going to cut out the poetic bullshit for a minute. Don't you dare sit there and try to compare rape with somebody manipulating you and your feelings to get sex from you. One is horrible, violent, and done against your will. The other, you still have a choice in. Fuck you for making that comparison. What the hell? My body was made for you to enjoy. I was born just to be your toy. What? You mean to tell me that the only purposes of a vagina are for urinating, putting penises in, and then birthing children? <laughs> That's like patriarchy, dude. Next you're probably going to tell me that boobs are for only feeding babies. Drugs, alcohol, whatever it takes. Is anyone listening for God's sakes? Drugs, alcohol, and whatever it takes. Stop blaming others when you say yes and make mistakes. Because I'm asking for it. I deserve it. I liked it. It's my fault for trusting. This is not the ending. Uh, lady, I hate to tell you, but a lot of people know this story very well. You're young and stupid. You get talked into things and you make a mistake. You find out that not everybody can be trusted. You're right. It's not the end. We move on with this knowledge to make less mistakes. It was, it's my fault because I'm a slut. This can't be true, but... It's my fault for not being able to say no. I haven't been told any difference, so I guess so. Yes. Play ignorant and blame society for everything that's gone wrong in your life. Better grab that victim status now instead of learning from your strife. It was my fault for taking the drug. It was my fault they used me like a rug. Because I'm dirty. Look, if you were forced into taking drugs, then I'm sorry. But if you took them willingly, then yeah, it's your fault that you took the drugs. And if you were raped, that's not your fault. But if you chose to get high off of your ass and have sex with someone, that is all your fault. And nobody's going to shame me for that because we've all done stupid things, we've all made mistakes, and we all have regrets. Well, I still panic when I see you when I'm 30. It feels like I can never be touched in a gentle manner. See, if you haven't actually been raped, and you feel like you can't ever be touched in a gentle manner, 
and that one guy you made a mistake with is giving you post-traumatic stress syndrome, you've developed what we call a victim complex, developed in the first world from your imaginary rape culture. This can't all vary based on my gender, but that's okay. It was my card to play. It was my fault because I was born in a female's body. Uh, th that's, that's the end of the video? And there you have it, someone blaming their gender and using that victim card to absolve them of making mistakes. Now, please don't misunderstand what I've been saying here. If you have in fact been forced to take drugs and then you've been raped, that's not your fault. And if that was the case, then I'm sure that this individual would have put that plainly somewhere. But what I fully believe we have here is a woman who got peer pressured into taking drugs and slept with someone and made a mistake. And that doesn't make you a victim of rape culture, that makes you a victim of inexperience and your own stupidity. Anywho, I hope that everybody watching enjoyed this video. Until next time, keep up the fight against stupidity wherever you may find it. Have a good one.